show you this and then you can do another one. Then, yeah? So this wants you. What? Yeah, this, you're asking me? Yeah, this, you, you should, uh, you should uh, write this as a, uh, uh, in terms of root pi. So the question is, what's the answer in terms of root pi? Okay, of course, using the earlier identity. Um, well, uh, look, uh, you could rewrite this as uh, it's just a math matter of manipulating it to match the identity. Uh, this is minus 3 over 2, right? The gamma function of minus 3 over 2 plus 1, right? Uh, over, over, because uh, because the uh, gamma function of uh, p equals the uh, gamma function of p plus one over p. Yeah. So this is uh, this over uh, minus three over two, right? And uh, the top one gets you gamma function of minus half over. Yeah minus three over two, right? Yeah. Now, yeah, the gamma function of minus half is just minus two root pi. Because uh, as we said here is um, the, the gamma function of half is root pi. So in other words, if you input uh, for p, uh, half, right? We got uh, pi over sine uh, pi over b. And here, if you input, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the uh, uh, the minus half. Uh, what would you have to? So basically, p is minus half, right? And uh, you get uh, minus two root pi yeah. over. Uh, uh, wait, actually, let me let me do because I feel this minus half is not clear. Let me let me come back to this. So let me now go on the side and do. Anyways, the question is asking before this to evaluate what's the gamma function of minus half. Well. According to the rule, this is minus half plus one, gamma function of minus half plus one, right? Um, times over minus half. Right? That's minus half. That's using the earlier section, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's using a gamma function of p is gamma function of p plus 1 over p. Yeah. OK, so the top becomes gamma function of 1 half divided by minus half. And what's gamma function of half? We said gamma function of half is square root pi. So this becomes square root pi over minus half, which is minus two square root pi. Now I can take this last result for the gamma function of minus half, and I can input it here. So that brings me back to a gamma function of minus three halves will equal gamma function of minus half, and gamma function of minus half turned out to be minus two root pi over minus 3 halves, which would become 4 root pi over 3. So we would have evaluated gamma function of minus 3 halves and gamma function of minus half. You see how to manipulate this to figure out uh, these gamma functions for non-integers.